Hello, my name's Grace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have another Mulberry bag unboxing for you. Um, so I have already seen this bag, so I went and purchased it in the store myself, but I just thought I would share me unwrapping it and first impressions of it. So without further ado. So we've got the lovely big green carrier here. This bag came from the Mulberry at Shepton Mallet. So um, it was actually a replacement for the pink Harlow I shared in my last video. Uh, I sent it to the Kilvercourt team who decided that it was actually a manufacturing fault of the bag. They did offer me a um, like for like bag, but when I also looked at the one that they offered me, it still wasn't quite perfect. So I just, in the end, opted for a gift card and ended up purchasing another different style. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's undo the ribbon off the top. Okay, so pull out the dust bag. Okay. So the team at Mulberry were really helpful with this as well. And um, when I was looking, it didn't have a dust bag in the one from the stock room, so they were able to go and grab me a really lovely big one just to keep it safe when it's um, not being used. So, without further ado, oh, hey, I popped the dust bag down. So this is the bag that I ended up swapping um, my Mulberry Harlow for. I had originally the icy pink in the small grain leather, which is in my old video. Um, but as I said in the video, I thought there was a bit of a defect on the handle, which once I took into the ladies at Kill the Court, um, Shepton Mallet, Mulberry, they agreed and had the bag sent off. Long story short, they offered me a replacement bag, but um, even that wasn't quite perfect still. So in the end, I just did gift card and picked something else in the store. So this is what I went for. She's the small Leighton silky calf braided in midnight. So it's got the newer, checkerboard style removable strap and it's got the um, little riders lock set at the top with the chain detailing and the mulberry gold leaf to the front of the bag so they also come with a third strap when I was talking to the lady there she said you can either wear them with all three or you can um, take them off which I didn't realize you could take the straps off so that's really cool you can kind of mix and match but I have a feeling we're going to leave all three on at one time just because I like the look of it having lots of straps going on I think it looks really cool so you can wear it across the shoulder like that or hold it in the crook of your arm or with your hand like so. So this bag I was really drawn to because of its two colorways so having the I think it's chalk it's like a very um mushroomy white which looked like the other chalk bag that I was looking at debating getting between the two um, I'd like that it has the two colours. It's just a bit different to the other Leightons. I like my Mulberry bags to be slightly more unusual, I'd like to say. Um, albeit I do have a plain black one, which is fairly basic, but um, something a bit more that is a bit noticeable, a bit different, looks slightly more expensive with the attention to detail. We have the same strap detail as the Harlow, which is really cool. I love these kind of kite shaped fixings and the gold hardware I think really works with the navy I just think it really has a nice strong pop to it so let's have a look at what we can get inside so you a twist and open the lock to get in and at the moment she's really stuffed with tissue paper so if we take this out we can get a good idea of how much space there is this, I think this is one of my, probably my biggest mulberry bags, um, which the space is kind of wasted on me. As we know, I can quite happily deal with a micro bag. So empty. This is kind of the space wise that we're looking at. So you've got a pocket on the back with the um, mulberry branding. And then on the flip side, you've also got a pocket here as well. So if you have like any car parking tickets or maybe you want to carry a debit card separately, um, you can put it there and know it's safe. So we'll do the same. Purse goes in. We do hand sanitizer, obviously these days. Put some keys in and put what would be my phone in also. 
So that's basically hardly fill the bag up at all. <laughs> I'm quite a poor excuse for um, carrying anything around so that you could fit so much more in there. So in terms of the leather, this one is slightly different to my other mulberry bags. With it being a silky calf, I know that I have to be more careful with it. I know that it can mark a lot easier. So that's something that I think you just have to be aware of if you're going to purchase a silky calf, um, that the, they scratch a lot easier. It's a lot softer leather, but it is really beautiful. I think it's quite nice to have a change from the uh, small classic grain. I think this just looks a little bit more chic, a little bit more sophisticated and really just kind of looks like a, a lovely day to night possibility bag. So I have mentioned with the other bags that I recently purchased that neither of them came with any feet, but they were the micro size, so that's kind of the norm. Um, with this one, it does have um, some feet on the bottom, but what also slightly alarms me is that the bottom of the bag is also whitey, chalky, mushroomy colour. So I'm very careful when I put this down that it doesn't get any marks on it. Um, I think it will be sitting next to me wherever I go. It will not be touching the floor, um, especially because the leather is so soft. I just don't want it to kind of have any wear and tear on it that it shouldn't have. Um, but let me show you some close-ups of this bag and whereabouts it kind of sits on me when I'm wearing it. Okay, so let's talk about price. So for this mulberry, um, small mulberry Layton, I paid £538.20. Um, but I, as I had the credit note from the Harlow that was faulty, I only ended up paying £1.20 of my own money towards this bag. Um, on the label of the one on the shelf, it originally said it was £1,200. It went down to 717 in the store when they went to 598 but they had an extra 10% discount on. Um, I think that's how much it was anyway. Uh, but it was only slightly more than what the um, voucher I had that I ended up using against it was for. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe as it really supports my channel and I know that you're liking the content that I'm putting out there. Um, I do want to still film, I've got a couple of jackets, I think I mentioned them in my last video, um, and during lockdown for winter now, we're getting into those colder months, so jumpers are out. Um, so keep posted for those, but any more bags that you'd like to see, um, if, leave in the comments and then maybe I might do a little cheeky purchase and do a little review for you. But thank you so much for watching and see you soon.